And as soon as I could, as soon as I turned 18, I got a loan from the bank for a car. A car that I'd wanted for years. And that car was a 2000 Subaru Legacy B4. Twin turbo, way too powerful for me, but I wanted it. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. All right, you guys. We're gonna put this over here. I think there's more light. Is there? No, there's not really. Okay, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be we're gonna be talking. Well, you know, we're gonna be shooting two birds with one stone, as they say. Oh, that's Barnet Park. That's where I used to play football. Or soccer. Um, right, so we're heading to a place called Sumner. In the previous video, you saw, or you heard me talk about my first ever car crash. First of two. And uh, look, there were some lessons learnt, and those lessons stuck with me for a long time. Um, the trust between myself and my father, due to the fact that I crashed his car, uh, was was broken early on, and it took me years and years and years to try and get that back, and it created uh, an awkwardness, um, especially when when asking about, you know, using the car or or just it just it just wasn't good. It was a terrible start to my driving career. Now, three years later. I sort of get my uh, get my act together a bit. I, I actually quit high school halfway through. In fact, later in this video series, we're going to be checking out my high school. But I ended up quitting high school halfway through my last year. Got a got a full time job. It was quite a good one. I felt quite proud about it. And as soon as I could, as soon as I turned 18, I got a loan from the bank for a car, a car that I'd wanted for years. And that car was. A 2000 Subaru Legacy B4, twin turbo, way too powerful for me, but I wanted it. It had leather seats, it had 80,000 kilometres or 50,000 miles, it was basically brand new and it was mine. So I'm just setting the scene for you guys, I probably had it, I had my glory, glory days in that car for probably about four months. And then I started drink driving which is the basis of this life lesson that I'm going to be talking about. The lesson is don't drink drive because it's not worth it. And uh, you know, not only is it not worth it for your safety, for other people's safety, but it's not worth it because at the end of the day, you're not in control. Anything can happen. And if you're as drunk as I was, you can even fall asleep behind the wheel. And that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened to me. I fell asleep behind the wheel. So, I am going to uh, put the camera away. We're in a place called Sumner. And, uh, you know, I I'm hoping to get a bit of closure on this as well because I drove from Sumner over the hill to Littleton. That hill, that road, has actually been closed for the last like eight or nine years because of the earthquakes. Um, too many rocks fell down. So today I'm gonna get closure on not only you know, running through this situation again with, with you, with you guys and with myself. But I'm also going to drive the same road that I crashed on for the first time since crashing. Because it's been closed for years. So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to try and stop exactly where the crash was. And I'll run you through how I felt and... Uh, and what I learnt from it, because there's some lessons to be learned. I could have killed myself that night. That's all you need to know. So with that being said, I'll see you soon. So I'm just looking for my old, there it is, Arnold Street. This is the one. Yeah, me and my mates came down here a few times. A fair few times. It was my, uh, one of my good mate Adam's place, here in Sumner. And I can vividly remember one of the last times coming through this intersection, looking left and right, boosting the fuck out of my car. 
with the blow off valve, coming down here and parking up. And his house, I believe, was number 27 Arnold Street. That's exactly it, right there. So, let me set the scene. My car was parked right here. Right here. On Arnold Street. I'd had a massive night of drinking. Home was only five minutes over the hill. But that five minutes turned into the whole night and I never made it home. I never made it home, guys. I was on the piss in there, drunk as fuck. Thought, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna drive home. And uh, I probably got about two minutes up the hill and got the biggest shock of my life when I basically came to from whatever happened and um, I'd smashed my car head, in, head on into the bank. It had, it had hit the bank on the left hand side, it had come uh, bouncing out and I'd actually ended up probably about 30 centimetres away from the edge of the hill and that edge goes straight down. Um, you know, I don't know how many feet, I don't know how many metres, we're going to check it out now. I, have, uh, I haven't looked at it for 10 years guys. Probably, yeah, probably about 11 years it's been now. So, we're gonna do the entire drive. <laughs> I came out here, I came into my car. It's not a laughing matter, but it is the truth. And it's something I do want closure on. So, we're gonna do that right now. Let's just hope I don't crash this time. So coming through Sumner, I spent so many days here, man. Because I lived in Littleton, and one of my best mates, Adam, lived in Sumner. And literally it was linked by this Summit Road. And the Summit Road goes up all the way over there and over to, to uh, Littleton, which is where we're going to be going today. And uh, it was great having a mate that was here in, in Sumner. We played football together, we played soccer um, for the Ferrymead Bays, which is just around the corner. And um, it was a great time. It was a great time. A lot of drinking, a lot of smoking weed, and uh, you know, a lot of car crashes, to be honest, because it wasn't just me. He crashed a couple of times, our other, our other mate uh, Tim <laughs> crashed, our other mate Liam crashed, in fact he, he crashed like four cars, fucking hell, Liam Aitken, Jesus Christ, he, <laughs> he, was, he was an interesting one. So look, we all had our, our moments, um, but this is my moment, and it looks as if, no, there's entry down here, fuck that. Okay, so here we are. This is it. So I had come along here, along here, and I boosted up this way all the way up this hill, all the way over to Littleton, but I didn't get there. So I'm probably not going to come back down this hill. So what I'm going to say is that once I crashed it, I actually rolled it backwards the entire way down the hill all the way down here and probably about 500 meters down that way and that is where I at four o'clock in the morning knocked on the door of a random old lady's house she came out at four in the morning I was drunk obviously but I was in shock and I needed someone to come and pick up the car so I called a tow truck they came picked up the car, took it home, and I was dropped off at my dad's place in Littleton by the tow truck driver with my car at six in the morning. And that was another interesting conversation with my dad. Very, very interesting. In my naivety, I even wanted him to say that he was driving. I wanted him to fucking ring the insurance company that morning and say, look, I've had a crash, um, I need to claim, because I was drunk. And, um, Come to think of it, I was also unlicensed, but we're not going to go there. Let's go and check out this area, man. This is this is going to be. Ugh! Now, as I said, I'd actually fallen asleep, so I couldn't tell you the exact spot. But I'm assuming it's somewhere around here. Boosting, 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 and like I said, this um, this road has been closed for the last eight years. But I honestly think it was pretty much right, right here. As I come around this corner, I think I took it too, too close, smacked into the bank. You know what, let's go check it out. I want to show you, and I want to show myself once again, how close I was to imminent death. 
Okay? I'm not even joking. This is it, man. This is definitely the area. Beautiful, beautiful area. Summit Road. The Port Hills in the background. Alright, so I want to take a quick, quick walk up this way. Hopefully no cars come. But uh, I don't know if you can imagine, four in the morning, wasted as, you just got basically woken up by a fucking massive car crash. You, your pride and joy, that's the thing that I want to say. This was my pride and joy, man. This was my, this was everything. I just got a loan for this car. I was just 18. I'd had it for probably three or four months. I was on top of the world. And um, I fucked it. I completely and utterly fucked it. I had no car. It was all smashed up completely written off, no insurance, I had a loan now. This was my first experience of, of bad debt, okay? Basically my first experience of like a credit card because I had this, had this car, had this loan, but no car, sorry. I had a smashed up car, I had a loan for a car that I didn't have. And so from age 18, I was already in debt, paying off something that I didn't even have, right? It was, it was absolutely depressing as hell. And um, this is this is the area. Once this car goes past, I'll give you a look. Okay. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I came up this way, just as this car is. I think I probably hit right there. And so what I've done. I've gone and smacked into the front left hand corner and I've come bouncing out across the road. And the back of my car was right on the edge of this. And this is a stone wall. So I might not have got killed on the first impact, but as my car tumbled all the way down there, I think I most likely, you know, God would have got me at some point. So this is it man, this is fucking it. This is the summit road going all the way over to Littleton, up there, over the top and then down into Littleton. That's where I'm going to go next to check out my primary school, which is in Littleton. But this is, this is the first time I've seen this in years, man. And um, you know, this moment set up my next 10 years of, of being in debt, you know what I mean? Being in debt and um, being depressed. Being depressed because at age 18 when everything was going so well and then it can all be taken just like that and um, it was my fault because I drunk drove. I fell asleep behind the wheel and smashed my car. And so the lesson learnt guys is, uh, well two lessons, two lessons. We're going to go now. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. All I wanted to show you. I've done it. It's, I've. I've gotten what I needed out of this, but there's two lessons I want to leave you with. I'm not saying I'm any, any wise guy. In fact, I've made some pretty stupid mistakes. Um, but I do like to think that I get, you know, at least a, a lesson learnt out of these mistakes. And the two lessons learnt were, number one, don't drink and drive. Doesn't matter how close you are to home, doesn't matter if you're around the corner. Don't drink and drive, and it's not only because you'll get caught, okay? It's not only because you'll get caught, it's the fucking safety, okay? It's because you can put your life and anyone else's life that's on the road at that time in danger because it's just not worth it. So that's reason number one, or lesson number one. Lesson number two is be careful about what you take debt out for. I mean, just recently I have fought back from bankruptcy, okay? This is 10 years on from this. But this, the notion of me getting a loan, getting an $8,000 loan for a car at age 18 and thinking that, you know, that was okay, thinking that was fine, thinking I'd always be happy with paying that back, um, was <sighs> just, uh, it wasn't true. I mean, here I am 10 years later, finally having got out of all of my debt, except for my mortgage. And I just wish I'd never even taken on any of that debt. So the second lesson is be careful about what you take debt out for. Make sure it's a, a something that's, you know, make sure it's something that's worth it. And, uh, 
at the end of the day, uh, don't crash your car. <laughs> I don't even know what this video is, you know, going to come out like, to be honest. This is just... Uh, this is just me. This is just me. This is a part of my life, man. This is 2000 and... I think it was December 2008. I'd gone and got the loan, bought the car, and then fucked it. Luckily it was my car and not my dad's again, that's all I can say. <sighs> so after this, after this crash, after this this uh, saga, I finally paid the loan off, not long after um, heading to Australia. And uh, that was that, but I've never forgotten it. I have never ever forgotten it. And I used to replay it over and over in my head, just like with the previous crash, with the first one. And um, it's not a nice experience, you know, and uh, I'm lucky. I am lucky to be alive right now. And that's how I'll end this video. So with that being said, guys, have a great day. I hope you've learned something. Don't drink and drive. And if you can, buy your car with cash. So if you do smash it and you don't have any insurance, it won't be the end of the world. Okay? Peace out, everyone. If you're paying loans, if you're paying credit cards, loans for things that you don't actually have, eventually, you might you might be able to do it for a few months, a few years, but eventually that is going to cause some way, some kind of depression in some way. Okay, so be careful about what you get debt out for. That's all i got to say. Peace, everyone.